to let customers pay without using debit cards, credit cards, or even cash. NBC Action News reporter Amy Hawley takes an in-depth look at this controversial technology. Have you ever gone shopping or loaded up your cart with food or clothing and then get to the checkout line and find out you've left your wallet in the car? Well, tonight we'll show you the technology that makes it simple to just touch and go. You've seen the science fiction in movies using unique biological characteristics instead of keys. He's been identified on the metro. A facial or iris scan to unlock doors and digital accounts. An electronic, paperless society. See it, John Ashton. Come summer, that kind of technology will leap off the big screen and one metro grocery store will make your identity available right at your fingertips. It's sci-fi technology that's about to enter the checkout lane all in the name of speed and convenience. You'll be able to buy anything from bread to beer if you agree to give the store your ultimate identity. Once you have your grocery scanned, now what do you do? You punch in your PIN number, touch your index finger to the image reader, and you've paid in about three seconds, all with the touch of your fingertips. It's called biometrics, an automated way to recognize you based on your unique biological characteristics. Each person's fingerprint is a unique identifier, not biologically duplicated anywhere else in the world. At this hen house at 87th and Lackman, customers will soon be able to register their checking and credit card account information by computer. Then you provide two fingerprints, so later, with a quick scan, the system can recognize you are uniquely you. Walk in with just your finger. It's much easier just to swipe your fingers than to go through all the cards. Christy is one of thousands in the Metro who already use biometrics for cashing payroll checks at Hen House grocery stores. She says she will continue to use her fingerprint when Hen House moves biometrics to the checkout lane. I've done it and I haven't had any problems. Ball's Hen House says identity theft and fraud have virtually gone away in their check cashing operation. They've used it there for the past three years. If you get your purse stolen or your car gets broken into, that type of thing, uh, they cannot bring that information into one of our stores and use that with, because you're not going to be there and your finger is not going to be present at the time of the transaction. But not everyone agrees that this is the way to go. It scares the heck out of me. ACLU Executive Director Dan Winter says numbers on a stolen credit card can be changed but once someone steals your fingerprint they've stolen it for life do not be sold on this because of a convenience do not give something away do not give yourself away something extremely personal you know today it's a fingerprint it's tomorrow it's a microchip Maybe that ushers in the mark of the beast. Donnie Attaway quit his management job at Quick Trip when the convenience store chain told him he had to swipe his finger to clock in and clock out. And although it may be optional today, you know, who knows about tomorrow. We're by no means going to force anybody to put down their finger image if they're not willing to do that. Experts say biometrics are about to pervade every aspect of our economy and daily lives. But they say for biometrics to work, there is one requirement, trust, something Christy already has. And you put your finger in there, and my name comes up, and she's got all my information. And it's that quick? It's very quick. Love it? Love it. People across the world already use biometrics. The U.S. government, the airlines, gas stations, even Walt Disney World uses technology that can read guest blood veins in lieu of carrying day passes. But the technology is new to the Metro. A Hen House spokesperson told us if people like biometrics at their 87th and Lackman store in Lenexa, they plan to roll it out as a payment option to other Hen House stores across the Metro. Amy Holly, NBC Action News. It's facial recognition software. The new technology will make it easier to identify friends in the photos you upload. It works by matching new photos to others that have already been tagged and suggests people you may want to tag. The feature will begin rolling out next week. Mashable tells us more. Facebook fills in the Who is this box with its suggestion. All you have to do is click the Save Tags button to accept. If you're a little freaked out by this new feature, don't worry, you're not alone. An anchor from HLN is with you. Some people are loving this, but if you find this a little bit creepy, like I do, <laughs> you can opt out of it. And the Facebook blog says opting out is simple. If for any reason you don't want your name to be suggested, you'll be able to disable suggested tags in your privacy settings. Just click Customize Settings and Suggest Photos of Me to Friends. Your name will no longer be suggested in photo tags, though friends can still tag you manually. 
So what makes Facebook think it knows your friends better than you do? Well, Erlesk says apparently it knows, but it's not telling how. The feature only makes suggestions when the algorithms have high confidence in their accuracy, but Facebook hasn't released what percentage of confidence is required to make a suggestion. How exactly are we measuring confidence here? Commenters on India's tech tree say they're so concerned about the new function, they're considering calling it quits with Facebook. Calling this creepy is a massive understatement. This is going to result in huge lapses in privacy and security of Facebook users. The wise thing is to quit Facebook now and join a safer social networking platform. Finally, a Facebook executive tells CNET the feature actually enhances privacy, despite all the concerns to the contrary. Every time a tag is created, it means there was a photo of you on the internet that you didn't know about. Once you know that, you can remove the tag or write to the person and say, I'm not that psyched about this photo. So what do you think about the